anxiety. We've all had it before. In this video, I will help you identify 15 <laughs> warning signs that anxiety is creeping in. And thanks as always to No CD for sponsoring this video. No CD offers affordable, effective, convenient therapy available to those in the US and outside of the US. To find out more about No CD, their therapy plans, and if they currently take your insurance, head over to treatmyocd.com. Warning sign number one, appearing zoned out. When we zone out, we're typically in deep thought. It's okay to be in deep thought. However, if we are trying to solve a problem that might be related to potential fear or worry, this could have a big warning sign that anxiety is about to set in. When we're zoning out, we are not present in the moment. We're either thinking about the past or the future. It's essentially ruminating. We can't problem solve the future. We can't change the past. So our brain has nothing to do other than think about it, think about it, think about it, think about it. And we are not in the present moment. Number two, our emotions increase. We start snapping at things so small, so small that it's almost embarrassing that we got angry in the first place. Something like, my keys fell out of my pocket. I screamed. My child spilled their milk again. I snapped at him. The show I wanted to watch is no longer available. I threw the remote across the room. Pay attention to these emotions. If they increase sharply for no apparent reason, this could be an indication that anxiety is here or is about to come. Number three, becoming impatient. That car took two seconds to get started at that stoplight. I feel like I need things to be done right now. No time is wasted. When it doesn't go the way I planned, I am angry, man. Number four, struggling to make eye contact. It's natural to feel uncomfortable when making eye contact, but when it becomes our focal point, it's hard to break out of that. We notice we're not making eye contact. It is something that's on our brain as a potential worry or threat. Is it weird that I'm looking at them too long? Oh, I can't, I don't know. How long should I stare? Is this, a, it's too much thinking. When we start avoiding altogether, we know anxiety loves to jump into those moments. Number five, not subscribing to this channel. I'm <laughs> just kidding, but it will power you up. All right, here's number five, needing more reassurance. If you don't know by now, reassurance asking makes us feel better. Whenever we're asking somebody else a certain answer and they give it to us, we feel pretty good. But the problem is that we need reassurance to reduce anxiety, but we don't always want to do that because then it trains our brain to say, ask again, ask again, ask again. You're not satisfied with that answer. Ask again. You didn't get a good answer. Are you, maybe if they knew all the details, they would change their response. It's a trap. This response can be in the form of researching. It could be asking people online. It could be looking at certain things for reassurance. Number six, struggling to sit still. If you find yourself more fidgety than normal, this may be an indication of some pent up energy or stress. If you have difficult times, sometimes just sitting, watching TV, playing a video game, hanging out with your kids, whatever it is, when these things used to be enjoyable, but they're not as easy to do right now because you're fidgety. This can be an indication of some anxiety. Number seven, avoid making plans for the future. The future is so uncertain. We don't know anything. Plans can change on a dime. The future makes us anxious. When we find that we're not willing to work towards the future to figure things out in a healthy way, it may be an indication that we're not ready to face what's coming up next. We're, we're so terrified of the future that we don't want to think about what's next. Essentially, we're not making plans. Number eight, cutting your time short or leaving events early. You might find yourself wanting to leave early while hanging out with friends or going to various events. You may even plan for it. Make excuses to leave early. Essentially, you're just not enjoying where you're at. You're longing to be somewhere else. Number nine, talking too fast. That's right. You may be talking.
talking faster than normal, stumbling over words, and simply trying to say what you need to say as fast as you can. When talking fast, you may not even register what you're even saying. Words are just flowing out of your mouth, and afterwards you're like, oh boy, what did I say? <laughs> 10. Concentration. If you're finding yourself distracted when doing simple tasks, this may be an indication of anxiety. The brain essentially is problem solving something. It could be important or be random. This lack of attention may be something that bothers you. You find that you cannot be present in the moment. You find it really difficult to achieve this. Number 11, <laughs> noises are too loud. You may be hypersensitive to noises. You're finding yourself cringing, you're annoyed, you're angry by these various sounds you're hearing throughout the day. This is typically more than normal. It's somebody eating, loud cars, that fan at work that is just clicking. It's normal for us to be annoyed by sounds, but you might find yourself even more frustrated. Number 12, you find yourself doing mannerisms that project really kind of what you're feeling. You take out your phone more often to talk to other people. You cross your arms around others. You don't want them to see you. You're looking down at the ground. You won't let others walk behind you. You're super hyper aware of your surroundings at all times. You're aware of what's going on because you're not really feeling that great. Number 13, it's hard to breathe. You may notice simple tasks are exerting way more energy than they did in the past. You find yourself throughout the day breathing, <laughs> shortness of breath. This is a new thing for you. When in normal situations, you find yourself struggling to breathe. I normally don't have to breathe this much when I'm walking upstairs. What is going on? Number 14, pacing back and forth. People tend to pace back and forth when they're anxious. It gives them something physical to do while they're ruminating, while they're thinking. If you find yourself needing to move around, pace, walk often, and you're stuck in this deep, deep, deep thought, this may be an indication that your body is trying to process this extra stress or anxiety within. Number 15, physical sensations. Dry mouth, tightness in your chest, fast heartbeats, stomach aches, headaches. Our body does some strange things when it's trying to deal with anxiety. It can actually cause physical pain or discomfort to remind us that, hey, I'm here, fix me, fix the anxiety, this is not great. Just an extra boost that something isn't working out well for you. Ultimately, if you were noticing one of these or multiple of these 15 warning signs, chances are you may be already anxious. But that's okay. Anxiety is not the enemy. We don't always have to react to it. We try to focus on what we have control over. If I am overworking myself, I can choose to slow it down. If I'm isolating, I need to go out more. I can choose to do that. Unless we see immediate danger, we don't need to react to this anxiety. We need to see it as a false signal. Maybe just a reminder to slow yourself down. Leave things uncertain. Let life be life. Stay in the moment. We can notice these warning signs to help us know, okay, well, I might be doing a few things that I probably can stop doing that's making me feel more anxious. I'm overworking myself or whatever it is for you. So do you relate to any of these warning signs? Have you had them? I'm curious what your warning sign is that you're about to feel some anxiety. Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.